As a wavy wonder, I ride the struggle bus when it comes to volume for whatever reason. So today, you and I will be testing out for the first time the Curl Keeper Clips. guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's have a fun wavy curly hair experiment together, shall we? I am all about easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Wait, wrong thing. <laughs> I am all about keeping it easy and simple and effective, like minimum effort for maximum value is my goal. And I have tried root clipping in the past. I hate it. I hate root clipping. It hurts. I rip out hair every single time. I always try so hard and spend so much time getting these tiny little alligator clips clipped in all the right places in my hair just to have them pull on my hair while they're in my hair. And then when I take them out, they go ahead and rip out hair. And my hair doesn't have that much volume anyway after all that trouble. So. I have had my eye on these curl keeper clips for forever and just never allowed myself to try them. P.S. I do work with curl keeper, but this video is not sponsored. I purchased these myself. So without further ado, let's run into my bathroom and we'll get to testing out these clips and see if they're worth it, if they're good, if they do actually increase the volume in my incredibly grown out, heavy, in desperate need of a haircut hair. Why, hello. Oh, why am I the way I am? I do not know. Hi. Okay. I am just about ready to kick off this experiment and I'm scared. Here we are. Here's the equipment. I did just wash and style my hair. I used the exact same stylers that I used in the previous video. So we are having some consistent elements here. And this is how my hair turned out. So this is our baseline. This is our control of how much volume I get in my hair with these stylers and this haircut. I am getting my hair cut tomorrow. So this is the last day I can literally do this experiment because when you get a haircut, it changes the volume. All right, I'm just stalling at this point. I have plopped my hair and I'm about to diffuse. All right, we're just gonna breeze right through this. Got my AirPods in, micro plopped, and now we're diffusing. I've been playing around with different hair dryers lately, but I am using the same hair dryer that I used in the previous wash day. All right, doing lots of pixie diffusing, hanging upside down, looking at my phone, and listening to podcasts. Maybe I was watching YouTube videos. I don't remember. Anyway, I love how fast this is going. I wish it went this fast in real life. All right. I was just sitting here diffusing and realizing that I made poor choices in today's video filming. While this is the last day that I can do this with this haircut, I also am running out of time and have to go run errands. So now that my hair is 90% dry, I'm gonna put these clips in, but I don't have, oh, that's so loud. One minute. Blah. Okay, ha ha. I don't have time to sit and allow my hair to air dry in the cast like I normally do. All right, let me make sure I'm not making a big mistake. Directions, after scrunching or any curl enhancing techniques, pile hair on top of head and secure with a roller clamp. Some styles require only a few clamps while others require several clamps. Allow to air dry or diffuse. Okay, so I can dry my hair with these in it. That was the piece of information I needed. Okay, how the heck am I gonna put these in? Normally I part my hair on this side while it's drying. Let's see how bad my cowlick is in the back of my head. Let's see, let's see. 
Where are you guys? Okay, you guys can see. Well, of course, today my cowlick isn't completely horrendous, but we're just gonna clip over the cowlick. All right, all right. And we're gonna clip over this cowlick. Okay, that feels promising. That feels good. That feels like root lift accomplished. Now, right here, we're pretty flat. So I'm going to, no, no, disagree. Yes? Yes, that lifted it up. Okay. And then this actually has pretty good root lift, but I'm flat right there. So let's see. Oh, 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 lift, clip. That's voluminous. And then right there is all lifted. I feel good about this. I feel good. Now I'm going to hover diffuse. Fingers crossed until my hair is 100% dry. And then we can scrunch out the crunch and see if these clips made my hair more voluminous than the last time I washed and styled with these stylers. Just getting my AirPods back in because that's essential to my sanity while I diffuse. So I'm not really pixie diffusing while using the clips. I am mainly hover diffusing, but I am kind of picking up my hair, scooping it with my hand. I am noticing some frizz, which is why I don't normally diffuse my hair past 90% dry. It just keeps getting frizzier on me, but overall this is going quite well. And yeah, I got to get out the door. Okay. I am now 100% dry. That went way faster than I thought it was going to. And these are so easy to remove. And look, it's like keeping the volume where I clipped it. And my roots are really dry. It like lifted the roots up so that more air could circulate. Okay, this is promising. Since my hair is 100% dry, I am going to scrunch out the crunch and reveal these results. Okay, are you ready? Also, P.S. Same amount of cast as last time. So even though I kind of diffused slightly differently than last time, I think our variables are remaining the same because the hair feels the same level of cast. I hope that makes sense. Root fluff. All right. Now I'm going to part my hair on the opposite side as per normal. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Initial first impression. Yeah, there's more volume. This is definitely more voluminous, especially here. This is where I struggle the most. Let me turn around and show you the back. So, it's wonderful to have volume right after diffusing, but the real test is going to be letting this settle, wearing this for a little bit to see if it has more volume than normal. So I will be back after this is settled, after I've worn this hair for a little bit, and we'll see what the volume's looking like then. Alrighty, here we are many, many hours later and many errands later. Yeah, I was totally running late for my appointment. I picked up a nail in my tire and it was slow leaking and I had to go get that fixed. And that's why I was rushed earlier. <laughs> but I gotta say, this hair turned out so good. If you watched last week's video, you'll know that Raylene is the one that recommended the styling combo. And I've gotta say, I am loving it. I might just be reaching for this combo a lot. Cannot wait to try out some more of y'all's recommendations. So if you're not and you want to, follow me on Instagram and feel free to DM me your routine if you think it's bomb and 
needs to be shared with the world. I will share it for you. <laughs> I'll try it out and demo it and share it. Anyway, this is the volume we are having. I do have really silky roots. This is a term coined by the lovely Atoya Bass, I believe, over on Instagram. And it's it causes me to have flat hair. So that being said, hold on, I think this piece is supposed to be over here or was over here earlier today. Hold on, I'm looking in the viewfinder, pardon me. This is the volume we're getting with the pieces where they were earlier. There is a lot less volume. It is what it is. But do we think there is more volume, more root lift than previously? Compare the two, give me your thoughts. Comment down below, give me your thoughts. What do you think? Did no root clips have more volume, less volume, or the same volume as using the root clips? I do have to say, of all the root clips I have ever tried, I love these. I can use these. The ones that are like the little alligator clips that people clip in their hair, I always, always wind up ripping out some of my hair. And to be fair to these poor clips I tried today, I tried them in a rush. But if we're being honest, my life is one great big long rush right now. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a pretty accurate representation of how I would use the clips. And I liked them. I'm gonna start incorporating them into my routine way more often. Now, there is one last thing I want to do before we go. And that is my five second frizz and volume hack. It's not really my hack. It's something that I've seen hundreds of wavy curly people do. But let's see, can we get up close and personal? You know what? This isn't fair because I'm not very frizzy. <laughs> this styling combo really keeps the frizz to an absolute minimum. So this hack isn't gonna fix the frizz, but it is gonna fix the volume. So here's the five second hack. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Here we go. bit a little bit a little bit more volume all right guys that is it for this video I will continue to play around with these clips like I said before and figure out if there's a better way to clip them in my hair today we were just comparing them to the previous wash day trying to keep all the variables as close as possible you know parting my hair on the opposite side clipping diffusing same stylers I think y'all get the idea, but there may be a better way to use the clips that I will discover with playing around with them more. I wanted to make sure and test them out on this hair because I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Thank goodness, I need one so badly. All that being said, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. That was the most awkward like wave I've ever done. What were my fingers doing? I don't know. I'm gonna go drink some more coffee. Y'all have a good day.